And after all the devastation, some towns in New Jersey are warning people to just stay away. Officials say a large number of strangers are coming and actually taking pictures. Residents say what they really need is help. CBS 2's Meg Baker has a story from Manville. Thank God for the donations we've received so far because the baby lost all of her stuff. Amanda Monterosso is a mom of four. Her one-year-old daughter's room was completely destroyed, now gutted, with a fan blowing. It smells like Clorox, an attempt to stop mold from growing. Her other three kids are in school. I'm glad they're back at school because it keeps them busy, but it's coming and getting school clothes, it's coming and getting their soccer stuff, trying to have normalcy when you just want to cry. Others, like Monteroso, are in great need of cleaning supplies. Once homeowners rip everything out of their homes, it's time to disinfect. The local VFW is a distribution center accepting donations. Mops, buckets, cleansers. It's the mud that comes along with the flood water. So that's the problem. We need paper towels. We need trash bags because when you think of your countertops and everything that was below your countertop in your kitchen cabinets, all this perishable stuff has to be thrown out. Diapers, baby food, shampoo and soap and food. Canned items, items that don't need refrigeration because there's no refrigeration, there's basically no power in any of these homes. So uh, anything that can be eaten right out of the package, that's what we're looking for right now. Yeah. Carolyn Hespi pulled up with a carload of donations. Why was that important for you to help out in that way? Uh, well, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I grew up in this area and I've watched Manville get flooded a lot. Heavy duty plastic bags are also useful for transporting drywall and other demolition materials to the curb. In Manville, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. And for information on how to donate to the Manville VFW and for all other flood related resources, you can head over to our website, cbsnewyork.com, and click on links and numbers.